Meanwhile, U.S. President Joe Biden has met with the Belarusian opposition leader Svetlana Tikhonovskaya, a move that is now surely going to anger the Lukashenko government and also its ally Russia. The two leaders advocated for democracy and human rights in Belarus. Biden said that he was honored to meet with the opposition leader and said that the United States stands with the people of Belarus. Natikhanovskaya called on Biden's administration to press for stronger action against the former Soviet Republic government. This is like a very significant uh, meeting, like message to the whole world that the greatest country in the world is with us. And uh, this meeting is like uh, success of, uh, all, of, of all the Belarusians that are fighting at the moment. Well, Lukashenko has kept a very tight grip on power in Belarus as being the president since 1994. In 2020, the country witnessed its largest anti-government demonstration in history and years of pent-up anger began over a disrupted presidential poll in the month of August, which, remember, Lukashenko managed to win with a landslide. It was believed that the wife was of the arrested blogger won the election with a huge margin, but the result told a completely different story. The crackdown on the peaceful protests led to the silencing and arrests of nearly about 35,000 people. We talked about multiple points of pressure on the regime to, for regime to stop violence, release political prisoners and start dialogue uh, with uh, Belarus. And, uh, you know, I'm sure that Belarus can be, uh, can be an example of uh, nonviolent transition of power. Now, this, of course, has come after Tikhanovskaya had earlier urged the American administration to show active support and not just symbolic support for the people in Belarus. While the international community has criticized the Belarusian government's violent actions, the crackdown has hit too close to home when an Ireland-based airline company, Ryanair's jet, was forced to land in Belarus. Alexander Lukashenko, critic and reporter on board, was detained by officials. Right after the United States, the European Union and Britain imposed sweeping sanctions and Canada also called on Lukashenko to cooperate with the investigations into the forced landing. During her time in Washington, she also met with U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken and White House NSA Jake Sullivan. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.